Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and today is going to be all about Singleton. Singleton, baby. A uh, new format just introduced. You can only play it with a 500 goal entry quick event, which is a little controversial. Why can't we play it for free? Answer the question, wizards. Uh, uh, anything I could tell you would be theory, but it is a new format for those of you who are, are maybe not as into draft or can't afford draft and find the standard a bit stale. Or you just like playing weird and different forms of magic, and I think that I qualify as the latter. Now, let's uh, let's drop our five hundo G. Let's grab our Singleton Jeskai deck. As you see, I've got a couple there. We've been trying them out on stream. Uh, my viewers have sent me some decks, but this is one that I've built. However, I would be lying if I told you it was a proven and tested deck with a brilliant way of attacking the meta. It is simply my first try at building my own and playing my own Singleton deck, so anything I would give you is theory. You're gonna see the raw footage here today. No, no, unfortunately, I am not a seasoned Singleton player, but you can learn the format with me. Maybe we'll do a video someday in the future where we can just talk and blab about theory in the format uh, and things of that nature. I just wanted to put together a deck full of fun interactions and combos to hopefully make a good video. I have no idea what I'm in for. I have no idea if we'll get smashed. I have no idea if this video will see the light of day. I just live in a world of uncertainty and all these words may get lost or you may be hearing them and they may or may not just suck anyway. Our opponent right into opt and right into treasure map, perhaps an adaptation of blue-white control will be our first opponent. It is frustrating, I have noticed watching other streamers and playing the game myself that most people are just adapting what they consider to be the best deck, however, the decks are not the same. Uh, they're, the consistency provided by a variety of cards and factors are not the same. So there's no reason to believe that you uh, can't beat these new so-called best decks. Just because blue-white control and red aggro are super popular in standard is mostly for their consistency, and it doesn't mean that you can't topple them in singleton. So let's, uh, let's stay positive until I am proven otherwise. We're going to deploy Aether Sphere Harvester here because then if we have to play our Trophy Mage next turn, it's like we get a free hit with the Harvester. I did put an upkeep stop. I may scry for a land with the treasure map on my upkeep. That's a little risky. I want to see what my opponent does here. What kind of turn they throw together. We have a Field of Ruin from the opponent and it looks like another draw go type event. Makes it very unlikely I can just resolve a Trophy Mage, so that inclines me to try to scry for another land and hopefully keep making land drops so we can play more of our threatening cards. Uh, Renegade map is a land, kinda. Um, I'll take it. It's going to be interesting to see if my opponent wants to do something silly like counter this card. Deployo, Renegade, a mapo. Success, how about an animation module? This says whenever uh, one or more plus one plus one counters are put on a permanent I control, I may pay one for a servo token. And for three, I can choose a permanent or player and give it a counter. So it can make energy. It can put plus one plus one counters on things that already have them. Uh, there is a combo in the deck if you get the right mix of cards around. I'm not sure if or when that'll happen. My opponent blows up my Arch of Raska, which actually a little bit of a mana fix there. Thank you, opponent. Now let's uh, review. Again, I didn't go th into the deck tech because with all the one ofs and with the pure theory level of what I'm trying to do here, I just didn't think that that would be a very good use of all our time, talking about every single card and why I included it, especially with some of them, I'm not entirely sure. I just kind of have a loose idea of what I'm going for and chasing. So we didn't do a full on deck tech, but don't worry. Don't worry about that. Who needs who needs full on deck text? The deck list will be in the description if you do want a card for card something to take out and play. Um, do we want to use an upkeep stop here? Right now, I don't see. I guess I have some synergy on Panharmonicon with the Trophy Mage. I think I'll just take my draw step, as this does give me an opportunity to resolve something. 
Uh, decoction module, too. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield, you get energy. So this makes an energy for every creature you play. In combination with a panharmonicon, can make a lot of energy. Unfortunately, we're facing down a layer of Dawnbringer and probably some counter magic, so it's unlikely that much of what we do matters at all, but we'll give it a try. Maybe the deck is a little too combo and not enough control, not enough ways to get there and make your dreams come true. I'm thinking about what to go for here. Uh, it's too bad if we go for this Panharmonicon and our opponent simply counters this Trophy Mage next turn, we really didn't succeed at anything. <laughs> so I feel like I have to resolve the Trophy Mage just so I have a Harvester to strike back and gain some life and prolong the game. And we'll go get, let's see. Whenever you get an energy, you put a plus one, plus one on a creature you control. So that is kind of the combo, is the energy into the extra counters, into all that stuff. And it looks like those are the only three drop artifacts in the deck, so I may as well take it and try to assemble the combo. Just gonna do this now. Don't wanna think too hard. And next turn. Yep, that's fine. Hitting land drops, not solving Lyra problems, just doing funky things. That's that's how we're gonna live our life in this game. Okay, our opponent's holding land, holding off on their map. They'll flip it when they flip it. I think I kind of want to go for anointed procession and then flip my map. Unfortunately, I feel that my opponent will mess with my plan. Oh, whenever one or more counters are put on permanent control. Uh, and this is whenever a creature enters the battlefield, you get an energy. And this is whenever you get an energy, you put a counter on a creature. So the thing that sets off the combo is a creature entering the battlefield. Well, I don't have any. <laughs> Could be a problem. You can see there's probably just too much ridiculousness going on here. Anyway, let's go for the procession. See if we can go off with our treasure map. Ooh, ooh hoot a lolly. Hoot a lolly. Um, let's power up our harvester. Try to get in there. May, may not work. Cool. Uh, settle the wreckage, huh? Could be worse. It does ramp us, and this treasure map super ramps us. So it's about to get interesting. Uh, Karn on top, huh? That sounds fun. So six clues. Um, animation modules open, so is fabrication and decoction modules. So we can get those out. And it does say whenever a creature enters the battlefield. So I think I just want to go for them. Slip the whole combo under this. I know, I know, I know. It's sacrificing a lot of potential card draw, but card draw won't do us any good if we're dead. Our opponent. Their head just might explode. Like, what are they doing? What could happen from here? I don't know either. I don't know either. First time. So the whole time our opponent could have flipped their map and countered something, maybe. Doubt they want to. They seem like the type who just wants to draw cards and feel good about themselves. No aspirations to do anything cool. They have drawn a lot of land, to be fair. With all those scries, you'd think that they'd have a counter spell or something here, but I don't know. I'm not sure what all is we're seeing. Um, a baffling end, yeah. So if we can somehow remove this, we get double dinos. So let's keep our eyes open for that marvelous experience. Okay, moment of truth. We need this to resolve. It resolved! Glory, glory. All right. So what we're looking for here is um, 
bring stuff into play, do crafty things. So we're going to minus for our token guys. It anointed procession creates two. Evil cannot withstand. And here we go. Army. Triggers. Whenever you get an energy, put a plus one plus one counter. I will put one there. And I will pay the Z1. And off we go. Well, we're gonna create awesome board presence. Will our opponent have their one of fumigate? I'll keep pumping up the big guys. I guess I could pump up a small, a servo as well. Ta-da! Well, you, you're seeing the module power in progress. I'm going all in, I don't care. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna run myself out of mana on this one. Now, if only I had an outlet for all this energy. I guess the energy is like pumping the, the dudes to the moon. <laughs> Wait, is this just infinite? Do we just get to make as big a creatures as we want? Do we just have infinity? Infinity bodies? No, 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 it is limited. Uh, but we end with 13 energy. So now we gotta figure out how to use that. Your go! Would you like to draw a card? Oh yes, very impressive. Nice job. <laughs> My turn's cooler than your turn. How about that? How about that? <laughs> so let's see. Does our opponent have their one of Fumigate or an Hour of Revelation or something to cause me considerable tilt here? Go for it. You do you. You figure out how to blow up this board. Oh, look at the lands. They probably attack the Karn, right? I don't know. Oh, he's going for the win? He wants the win. Maybe he has a Torrential Gear Hulk for Settle the Wreckage. Hmm. All right. A way to gain life or interact at all. Give that player or permanent an additional counter. I don't think that helps me. Whenever you get one or more, blam, plus one, plus one counter. Uh, yep, and I can tap four for an energy. That doesn't help me. I have to read these cards a lot. Return to our creature you control to its owner's hand. Eh, doesn't do it. Panarmonicon, whenever an artifact or creature in the battling, it doubles the trigger. Unfortunately, none of this is free, but I can get a lot of action. All right. Well, uh, let's see. Let's do. Let's do crazy. Let's do the crazy. What could go wrong? If our opponent just has Gear Hulk, what a tilt this is gonna be. But I don't have any other real options, right? They're just. I just lose. They're one of Gear Hulk. So <laughs> let's do this. Too bad I don't have an energy outlet like a Whirler Virtuoso right now. It would be nice. Trigger, 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 trigger. Oh, the scoop! They didn't have it! They were not going to watch me go crazy. I have to go crazy first because I have to make sure there's enough power and toughness to win the game. So it's not like I'm just doing that to dirtle death my opponent. I had to go for I had to do it before attacking. Um, but hey, victory! Ah, the jank overcomes the mythic Lyra. Our, our opponent with no counters. They did have their one of settle, which I feel they used a little early. A little early, opponent. Taking out that harvester, I bet you wish you had that back. Alrighty, 
We've got colors and look what we have here. Ooh, 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 it works marvel. Maybe a revolution, there are some combos for this. Maybe it doesn't totally fit, but there are some combos. Maybe we'll get there. I don't see energy production of any kind, but whatever. I don't care. We're going for it, baby. I, hmm. Trying to think about how to sequence this. It's kind of an odd hand as far as what to resolve when. But I think I'll go for the era of innovation into the Renegade map, into the treasure map, into the Marvel or the Padim. I don't know what our opponents... Yep, they're going to play some blue-black control adapted for Singleton. What did I tell you, everybody? Creativity, folks, but that's why I exist. I'm going to try to give you something to do that you just can't do in Standard. Treat the format like a different format. It's fun. I may or may not always succeed. Disclaimer. Um, hmm. So this says I can pay one whenever I uh, play an artifact or artificer. Uh, if I do, I get two energy. So to make more energy, I think going with the amulet is probably the right play, but then I sacrifice it, I get the land. What I really want is this to be on the battlefield when I play the Pia's Revolution. So, do we run Pia's Revolution into a counter spell? is the question. We could also just play the Renegade map, which gives us more options. I think I like that. It does waste a mana this turn, so to speak. The other option is the treasure map, but we can't scry that anyway, and it uses all of our mana this turn. It's kind of a tough one. It's a really tough one. Also, the odds of something getting countered, I'm just going to go with the Renegade map here. It ensures that we can keep making land drops, and when you have Era of Invention, your deck actually becomes much more mana hungry if you want the energy and want to make use of the energy. So you do need to keep hitting land drops to make it happen. It also gives us the option if our opponent taps out for any reason to jam the Marvel. <laughs> Spinning the Marvel is one of the more exciting things. This is a ban. Oh, it's going to get exiled, just you wait. But this is a banned card in standard for good reason. For six energy, you get to play any card in your top six without paying its casting cost. And it generates energy itself. Uh, whenever a permanent goes to the graveyard, you get an energy. I do think our opponent will choose it with the Doomfall here, as we even have Padim to protect it. But Pia's Revolution will be annoying too. No matter what, we get to resolve something that is going to annoy our opponent. And uh, isn't that just the glory of magic? So let's get the Revolution out. And let's sacrifice the map. This says that our opponent is going to take three damage unless they let us have the map returned to our hand. So they'll probably just take three. They don't want us to get lands for the rest of the game. The trick is that once you get them low enough on life and they can't just keep taking this damage, or if they think something's low impact like a Traveler's Amulet, it just gets value. So that's what we're up to, getting value. Our opponent has binned an Essence Scatter, implying that they want to hit their land drops, I guess. I was going to tilt if it was just like, boom, Scare of God, yay. Uh, one fun thing about uh, cards like Gonti and Singleton is with the decks not as focused, it's less likely your opponent can find a card that synergizes with what they do. It's also less likely that it'll be a high impact card. When your deck is a strong synergy deck, like, what good does it do them to have a random artifact creature? Um, but you never know. They might pull out something great. Anyway, let's keep hitting land drops, shall we? Get that sweet, sweet energy. Fetch me that sweet, sweet land. Opponent, would you like to take three, or may I have infinite lands for the rest of the game? Oh, you'd like to take three. I'm not surprised. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll get... I don't think I have any double red cards in this whole deck. But it doesn't mean we might not want to cast two red cards. So, gimme. And do we want to play our treasure map without getting the energy from the era? I think so. Just having it out there is very nice. We'll put an upkeep stop. Maybe we'll scry before our draw step. Search for Azkanta is still searching. Up to three cards now. The one of treasure map. Uh, we've seen a treasure map on both sides in each singleton game so far. Might tell you something about the format. Field of Ruin implies that we don't want to flip this treasure map very badly, though. It'll probably get blowed up. But 
we can probably make use of them clues. I wonder if when uh, the land goes to the graveyard, since it's a flip card, if uh, it triggers Pia's revolution. I guess mate, we'll have to find out. Rules. Where are my rules, lawyers? My rules, lawyers, in uh, comments. Get in there. If treasure map is flipped and is destroyed by Field of Ruin with a Pia's revolution on the table, does it trigger? What? Oh, I just got outplayed. Um, okay. Well, now I gotta fumigate my opponent. I did not see that coming, by the way. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this draw step. Ooh. Love it. <gasps> this is my Helm of the Host. You bastard. You cheeky bastard. All right. <laughs> you took my Helm. We gotta blow up his Gonti just to not get gaunty for the rest of the game. It's brutal. And we gotta hope he doesn't have another creature. This monster! This monster! Why would he do such a thing? He's hitting lands. We got no problem there. Does he have a creature? Champion of Wits? Nah, you would hold your land. Never mind. I don't know how magic works. Ah, I see what's up. He's gonna clone it. Ah! Oh, I wanna concede. I don't wanna watch this. Ah, the disgusting. Oh, he missed it. Five to equip. Why don't I know my own cards? What is the matter with me? All right, Harness Lightning. Harness Lightning. You're not Harness Lightning. Draw. Me? Not good enough. Not good enough. Are you an artificer? You are. So I can even get energy off you and draw three. I could also do the same with the Harvester, but no way to crew it. Padim isn't even gonna trigger. The Hexproof is nice, but it's not even gonna trigger because of this Helm. I guess I have to go for you. We'll grab that upkeep stop again, this map. Yay, resolve, I'm a lucky man. All right. Uh, yeah, do it. Give me that energy. So I'm gonna probably want this draw three, but I can't do anything with it now. So we'll just, you know, watch. Jo Joyra die a miserable death. Nope, not yet. I'm sure it's going to once this Helm of the Host gets on this champ and goes off along with the search. Oh my god. Gonti. Curse you, Gonti. I would, I would do like a total rage yell, but I know my mic can't handle it. I know my mic has damaged ears and past. My opponent didn't do it again. Why? Why? Why didn't you do it? Maybe they don't know how Helm works. Maybe they have never had one before. All right, well, let's, come on, buy me that removal. There's not much of it in the deck. Oh, you're, you're such a good card in this deck, but I have to, gross. All right, it's it's, it's a part of uh, some of the combos. Like um, with the modules, the Virtuoso can, create a pretty cool loop. Well, what are we doing? You're blowing up my thing? This thing? Hmm. I tap you for mana. I wonder why. Let's see. What's going on? Uh, Fatal push is probably going on. Is there anything to be done about that? I don't think so. Okay, I'll resolve. We're in the draw step. Is there anything I could draw to mess with a fatal push here? I don't see it. All right, so I'm just trying to think whether or not I want to draw three in response with my um, era of innovation in case there was something I could draw that I could either play to get value off this. Oh, he's letting me draw. We're going to main. We're playing our land. Why, why, what is happening? All this open mana must do something. Is he gonna counter something? What do we do? Do we harvest or do we Padim? I guess Padim can block and kill these tokens even if Joyra dies and it protects my artifacts. So I think that's a little better than Harvester. It's also more mana efficient. It leaves open one mana. Yeah. 
Draw! I got my trigger. If he kills Joyra now, I still got a trigger. The disallow the trigger or the Padim? Alright, cool. I get to draw. Okay. That's sweet, because I get to draw again. Every artifact is a draw off the Joyra, so... Living the frickin' life, we get to trigger this again. And we could draw three, but again, drawing three right now doesn't do anything. Uh, I could attack my opponent. That makes the helm a lot harder to use. I'm gonna do it. Their life total is a resource I want to attack because of the revolution. He's gonna block. Plan is probably to get this back, but then he's not hosting it, and it uses up a lot of mana. And put an upkeep stop in case I want to use this. What's this do by itself? I know, I have to read these a hundred times. They're so confusing to me. Plus one, plus one counters. Make a servo, and for three mana, you can get a counter. Uh, a permit of any kind can get a counter. So it can also add a loyalty counter to a planeswalker. It can add an energy counter to a player. And it can add a plus one, plus one counter. It could also add a, um, what are these? A landmark counter on a treasure map if you wanted to escalate your treasure map. I am stunned our opponent is using the host thingy, though. Well, that's a card that someone can play. That's a very what big card. Me? Yeah, I see you, dude. What's up? You're gonna shoot this? Now, what's this say to a player? Yeah, which you can't redirect anymore, so I can't use the revolution to kill Nicole Bolas. Makes me wish I had my Harvester out, but it probably would've just been countered. All right, well, God Pharaoh has arrived. All right, my turn, untap. It is my second, no, I've got a, I've got another blue source in my hand. Let's uh, do this. Aetherstorm Rock, whenever a creature enters the battlefield, you can gain energy. It is a creature, which, and it flies, so our opponent making a one of these guys can't stop it, so it could pressure the bolus and do the things. But it doesn't, it's not what I would call a combo piece, nor does it deal with the bolus. But I do get a draw three, so I think I'll keep it. Oh, look at that, I could have a whole bunch of energy. What does that do? I think I don't take this energy. I, if I, my Whirler Virtuoso did, got shuffled back in. It's not on the bottom anymore, but I still don't, I don't think I take all this energy. Ugh, too bad. Never flipped a treasure map with an air of innovation on the battlefield before. News to me. All right, give me some cards. I'm gonna need them. Felidar Guardian Trophy Mage Prophetic Prism. So, Feldar Guardian Sahili Rai is an infinite kill you combo. And that may be what we're digging for now. Um. Four, five, eight, nine, ten. My timeouts are at zero. I gotta do stuff. <laughs> I don't have time to think. Disaster. Um. Scrappy Trolls. Cool. Get. Yep, out of time. Dang it! Sorry. Game's complicated. Game is complicated. Now this has three mana. I guess I can make an energy with it. That's what I can do with my extra mana. Yep. What'd you get? You got my Whirler Virtuoso? You, you animal. You animal. Why would you? How could you? Ugh, disgusting. Disgusting in every form of the word. opponent fingering all their cards. It's never fun to watch. <sighs> tap in their mana. <laughs> Re-tap in their mana. What is going on, dude? Auto-tap isn't that bad. It's not worth 10 minutes of our life. 
Now I just took my whole timer, so I've got no room to talk. Target permanent or player. I choose you. Woo! Energy token! Take that. Didn't see that one coming, did ya? We're gonna top deck Sahili Rai now, and you're going to live a sad life. I'm just gonna end turn because all I have to do are sat clues, and that's not a big deal. No blocks. The host is helmed. Oh, what a game we would be having if we draw no helm of the host. So there's a module to go with a module and the scrap trawler. I don't have a cheaper artifact to destroy though with the trolley. I needed to draw like a walking ballista. I think I better draw cards. We, that's what we're trying to do now, right? We're just, we need to get to the um, Sahili Rai. All right, that isn't gonna do it. Uh, we can always do that on our opponent's turn. All right, let's resolve you. Let's just try to get some cards on the battlefield to fight back. Bolus is a freaking beast. Let's get our annoying procession down. I'm not really thinking that hard about what I'm even using it with right now. This says whenever you get energy. Where do I get my energies? From the harvester, I guess. But let's get the harvester down. Again, running that timer. There's no way I'm gonna like get a timeout if I don't move my butt. Oh, search for his counter. Yes, it's very good. Very good magic card, I hear. Twenty-nine cards. One of them. Hide it out in there somewhere. Somewhere in there is a Sahili Rai. And then we have no timeouts, which supposedly is okay. All right. Two cards. Yeah, whatever. Take what is mine. I bet you will. Um. See, that makes energy. This when you energy plus one. This when you plus one get servos. But we need the guardian for sure. Trawler has nothing to activate off right now. I guess I have to discard the module and give up on that combo. It's too bad. Must be nice. But he only had four. Okay, yeah, yeah, that, 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 that does work. I don't know what I'm thinking. My opponent's just like doing the full dissection, but hey, you can still draw a card and just win the game, so come and get it. I know they have a moment of crazy. I don't know what I do with the trophy mage. Maybe I should've just blocked because they let me. All right, give me a draw. Meow. Um. Target you. It's too bad I have to put this out because now it's at risk. But all my craving wants. Come on, Sahili Rai. Do it. Do it. You're not Sahili Rai. <sighs> all right. Come on, man. We're gearing up for a photo finish. Let's let's get a photo finish out of all this nonsense. So he can make a Thopter and then block, so we can't even attack here. Bolas might just kill the Feldar Guardian, to be sure, and that would be a tragedy. Oh, yes, you're doing so many things. You are very talented. It must be nice. Fatal push, that's not good. <laughs> Uh-huh. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love what you see. Man, he took he took like the crucial parts of my deck, the Helm of the Host and the Whirler Virtuoso, and then he also stole the Harvester. This this person is an absolute animal. Although, I gotta tell you, this does look like a very fun 
uh, Grixis Singleton build if anybody needed inspiration. You've seen about half their deck here. We'll go through it again. If uh, Grixis is your thing. It looks like it's really blue-black with just red for a bolus. I don't see anything else doing with the red. Meow. Yeah. Alright, I guess we'll block over there and over there because we don't want to die. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Alright, yeah, that's good. Don't want to risk the Guardian to a moment of craving. Although, I'm opening it up to a fatal push. I'm hoping my opponent just won't do it. Well, there they are. They're being a little greedy going after the rock. But they might have another way to stop the combo if I draw too easily. Who knows? All right. Live or die. You, you, what did you... Yeah, you don't have revolt. You don't have revolts. You don't... You didn't have the revolting. <gasps> That's not good enough, but, you know. <laughs> Let's see. This says whenever you put a counter on a permanent, you may pay one for a servo. When I get... I would get two servos. But it doesn't stop the air raid. But I guess the ballista might. So how much... Hmm. But it doesn't stop the harvester. And he's going to get more energy anyway. So, yeah, it's... Over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh. Show me your counter spell and just, you know, rub the salt in it. Rub the salt in it. And uh, I'll just scoop because I know I'm dead. I know I'm dead. Combo's not assembled. Disrupted. Sadness. Heartbreak. End of the line. Alright. Let's try it again. Hopefully we can do one more game here. You'll see Singleton games, so far my observations are that they last longer than most games of the format, simply because uh, it's just the consistency isn't there. It's a lot harder to curve out and just smash people. Uh, you can build decks based around power, but uh, those decks, I would say, aren't very tuned yet. You don't run into that kind of thing very often. Boom. Why do I run this card? <laughs> Every now and then I see a card and I'm like, huh? I know that there's a combo, uh, like you can combo off with this and one of the modules and um, Whirler Virtuoso and go infinite. So that's why that's in here. Swoop them. I guess I just need a way to turn energy into creatures, but this only makes one. So I don't know, feels loosey goosey. Brawl. What up, dude? How you doing? Get the hell off of my land. It says whenever you cast a historic spell. So, um, do I want to make the 1-1? One, one? Or do I want to save the energy? Screw it. I'm making a 1-1. One, one. We're going beats. We're going pure beat downs. If he's just red blue control, how obnoxious. How am I gonna do my cool stuff? Eh. There are people who, when a new format shows up, try to do cool stuff, and people who just laugh at people trying to do cool stuff. Our opponent may be one of those. But the main phase lightning strike? That's kind of a signal that they're not sitting on the counter spells. And I hope they don't have another lightning strike. Because I'm going for Nijoira, who would probably be my commander if this were a full-on commander deck. I'm in no way a commander expert. I know very little about the format. Played it very, very briefly. And uh, am, am, am not somebody to take commander advice from. But I know the basics of how it works. Drake! Drake is here. On his hustle. All right. Uh, let's... Draw, let's scrap and draw, baby. No question about that. We want to scrap and we want to draw. I love cards. 
Drawing cards are the best. Derp. Ah, I see. All right, while I have mana open, let's try getting in there with Joyra. Maybe our opponent will be too scared to block. Scared of a shock or something like that and just take three for no reason. Yeah, that's right. I knew you had no guts. That, it's quite possible that they have brains, not guts. Don't take that as me totally insulting them. Sometimes you got more brains than guts. And I would say our opponent right there, probably brains. I don't know if I'd block in that spot. So, But that's what makes a good attack. And an attack not everybody remembers to make. And they should. So we'll be able to get our second white with the wilds and try to get the rock going. The rock says whenever a creature enters the battlefield, you get an energy. So if we find a way to loop some creatures and get this going, could be saucy. But instead we draw Arrow of Invention. Um, let's prism. We get to draw a card from Joyra and from the prism. And we get to generate energy. And we drew a land. So that is the new trigger stack, if you don't, if you haven't looked at it much. Um, it might be important to figure, like, you may want to draw your prism card first and then decide whether or not to activate your desire for energy. So that's a good reason for it to exist. Um, I don't want to attack into this this time because it might get too big. I could have played the rock. I can't play the rock off the prism, but I don't think that's a good reason not to use my evolving wilds. But I could hold it in the occasion that I draw Aetherworks Marvel and want the energy, but I don't think that's a good enough reason. But I don't really want to use energy to play the rock either. Hmm. So I guess I'll play the river and there's a chance I will top deck another land. Now this is worth a lot of energy if I wait till next turn, and I don't know if there's a good reason to rush it out. So I think I'll just end my turn here. I am likely falling behind to this Drake, but since it's our opponent's only board presence and we have seven power of attackers, our opponent may wait quite a while for it to grow. Uh, did the Chronicler kick it to get back a Hyro Illumination, I'm guessing? Or the Lightning Strike, he wants Joyra dead. It makes sense. Don't blame ya. So we gotta get all we can out of Lady Joyra this turn before she bites the dust. Spire. All right. Draw. Sweet. Although I'd much, have, I, I, I'd have preferred an artifact. Let's be honest. I would have preferred to draw another card off Joyra. Pay that one. Pay that one. Pardon me, urgent phone call. Thank you for your patience, business, you know, things that pay bills. I am really sorry about that. I hope it I hope it doesn't mean I can, should, or have to scrap the video. Uh, but 
it is what it is. Sometimes I have to, I, what, until I am full blown YouTube celebrity, I have to make my money in a different way. <laughs> but yeah, I can do urgent business phone calls and play the magic. Maybe not perfectly. Something happened while I was gone. Joyra died. Ugh, sadness. I guess I'll play the module. Should have played it first, to be honest. If the rock had resolved, I'd want that energy. So, right back into making boo boos, screwing up. It's all right. Drawing three right now doesn't do any good, so I'll just pass the turn. But we're back in it. I'm back. Back, y'all. Ready to fight. Ready to rivers rebuke nothing over here. Oh, water not? Yeah, okay. I mean, I can bounce that to my hand and replay it. So it's, if I wanted to, I'm not even sure. All right, it is my turn. The arch. Okay. This is uh, two fully developed boards drawing plenty of lands, but not high impact cards. These kind of games are interesting. I also find them pretty fun. Um, I am going to bounce my scrap trawl and replay it. The energy alone is a decent reason. Now we need an energy like super outlet. So finding a Whirler Virtuoso or an Aetherworks Marvel is right now the ideal solution. Um, did I play my land? Yeah, I played the arch. So there's no reason to crack this right now. So we'll, we'll end the turn. Does the Drake keep coming? Or does our opponent D up? They D up. They are feeling like they want the long game. Glint, nest, crane. All right, let's make it colorless. Let's send out the crane. Find me my Aetherworks Marvel, please. Uh, doesn't really matter which way we stack those triggers, I don't think. A Panharmonicon is there. An implement of combustion is interesting as it draws more cards. Felidar Guardian's going to the bottom. Ah, oh, I love Panharmonicon. It's just so much fun you can have with it. I think that's just way more interesting than drawing a card off an implement of combustion, even with a scrap trawler around. So we'll see. It's possible that's a big mistake. But now we have decoction module, glintness crane, mega combo, and even a panharmonicon. Um, so do we keep our crane? Like we can bounce our crane now and then play Panharmonicon and Crane next turn to not risk anything bad happening to our Crane. But since our opponent saw this, they they kind of know what's up. So we're going to just deploy now. Pay! Now, look, we get the option to make even more. More energy! <laughs> All right, end that turn. Things are getting hairy. You, you just feel it. The anticipation of every draw step could be something ridiculous happening. Glassblower's Puzzle Knot. That's a lot of scries. Uh, doubling off the uh, module. Here we go. Look at all that. I'm going to save these triggers for last because I'm not sure if I'm going to want to pay the mana, but let's get our scry on. Anointed Procession. <laughs> It's all happening. Uh, I like Confiscation Cube. I don't feel I need it. The Drake isn't as threatening. And there are better combo-y things I could be doing. And what do I want to pay? I could do a four mana Glint Nest Crane thing, but I lose the Procession. So the thing about the Procession, just more combos. <laughs> more combos. So let's make the energy, because we can. And we'll go no attacks. And I will just draw the cards here. Helm! Helm is here! Next turn, next turn, baby, next turn. With Anointed Procession! It's all happening! Let's just, uh, three mana to scry two and get energy by sacrificing it, okay? The genius, the memorial is sacrificed. I do feel like our opponent's just kind of been stuck in a not doing much zone. I feel like I'm taking a bit of advantage of him, but please don't counter my helm. Please don't do it. Oh yes. Oh yes. 
Oh, what are we helming? With the trawler, we can sacrifice the puzzle knot and get back what? Nothing. <laughs> Maybe a scrap trawler is an is almost certainly a cut at this point. I don't feel like I have enough of the I like the PS Revolution combo. Uh, that probably could just go. It's it's been the thing that's been very hard to put together, but this baby. Oh yeah, make me some cranes. Two cranes? Oh my god, look at him go! Four triggers! Because of Panharmonicon and Annoying Procession. I will take this Aether Heart, which we haven't seen yet. Oh boy, I will take this. Uh... Which one's better? I guess I'll take the Amulet. I have two open mana this turn, so maybe we'll play and crack it. We'll take this Aetherworks Marvel. Oh, are we going to see it all come together? We're going to take this Aether Sphere Harvester. Please don't concede, opponent. I'm having too much fun. No attacks. Play you. I'll just pitch it now. I, opponent gives me the nice. I know, right? Um, I'll just get an island. Not going to overthink it. <laughs> Toss him back a nice. It's like, yes, thank you. Thank you for not scooping. I'm having too much fun. <laughs> Next turn, we'll have the Aether Heart, which can, whenever the any artifact enters the battlefield, we get energy, but we can exile this to get an extra turn. That's six mana. Aetherworks Marvel comes down, that's four. The Dean's here, our opponent's going a little nuts. Their, their deck just picked up some steam. Maybe there's a wizard's theme to it. Please don't scoop. Please don't scoop. No, no, don't, no! Oh, you're breaking my heart. All I want to do is go off. Uh, uh, I'll have to wait till the next video. Maybe we'll activate that Aetherworks Marvel goodness. But uh, there we are, it's currently sitting at the two and the one in the singleton. I will complete this either on stream or maybe in a future video. Uh, for today's video, thank you very much for hanging out with me. Uh, I'm going to make sure that you get that singleton uh, deck list in the description if you want it. And let me know in comments if you want more singleton. By the way, uh, these error messages, important singleton thing. If These error messages aren't real. Like This is to tell you you have banned cards in your deck. And if you go into the deck, it like also shows the banned cards in red, and it will even warn you, you have banned cards, don't make this deck. But if you're making a singleton deck where the only thing banned is Smuggler's Copter, it's okay. Don't, don't panic, don't worry about it. Anyway, we're gonna put that in the description for all of you net decking superstars out there. And for today, for me, for now, for this singleton event, I'm CGB, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.